Hey, how you doing? This is Craig Beck from StopDrinkingExpert.com. Welcome to my video blog today. And today's question, well, it's not really a question. It's, um, it's more of a statement that drinkers make. Um, and perhaps this is a video for you if, you're, if you've got someone in your family who's drinking and you, you're trying to understand them a bit better. And the statement is, I drink because life is too short. And it sounds laudable. It sounds like, yeah, okay, fair enough. And it goes along with other statements like, um, you know, so what I drink, not hurting anyone. And would you believe a pharmacist friend of mine once said to me, okay, so as drinkers, we live a shorter life, but we live a better life. Really? <laughs> okay, where do we start with this hot potato, huh? Let's start with the... Um, the statement and the assumption that it's none of your goddamn business. You know, drinkers think, I drink, it's my life, I can do what I want. It's none of your business. And this is the sort of defense you'll get from a lot of drinkers. And it sounds logical. It sounds like, yeah, fair enough. If you want to drink, if you want to destroy your life, then you go ahead. But the problem is, my death, when I die, will not be a concern for me. It's not going to be my problem, is it? I, I will be unaware of it. It will not be me suffering. I will just die. It is the people around me that have a problem with my death. My children, my partner, my family, my friends. They are the problem that suffer because of my death. So when you're a drinker, you can say it's my life and I can do what I want and I'm not hurting anyone else, but that's not true. You are hurting everyone else. You know, because when you get ill, it will be your friends and family and children and partner that get upset and have sleepless nights. When you get that fatal diagnosis from the doctor that you have something terminal, it will be your friends and family, kids and wife and partner and husband who have to lie awake at night thinking about life without you beating themselves up, feeling guilty that they should have helped you sooner. Could they have done more? Should they have done more? And then when you die, it will be your friends and your loved ones who stand at your grave crying, missing you, wishing that you'd taken action. So when drinkers say, I can do what I want, it's my life, it's got nothing to do with you, keep your bloody nose out, it's bullshit because it has everything to do with those people around you, your loved ones. Okay, let's move on with these um, analogies and statements that drinkers make. Uh, I drink because life's too short. Hmm. Perhaps life's too short because you drink. I don't know. But, you know, that statement is based on what these days we call a false truth. Strange, isn't it? We used to call it a lie, but now we call it a false truth or fake news. Fake news. Alcohol is a benefit. And it's, it's based on the assumption that, the, that alcohol is a benefit with some side effects. The truth is that alcohol is a problem with some side effects. So it's not that, you know, drinking gives you something amazing, but there are a few uh, inconvenient side effects. Alcohol destroys your life and there are huge other problems that go with it but the drinker can't see this, or if they can see it, they don't want to admit it. They want to pretend that that's not the truth. They want to cling on to the notion that at least they're getting something out of the deal. You know, they're spending all this money, they're investing all this time and energy, and they're, they're giving their health away and their time away. At least they, they've got to fool themselves that they're getting something back. Otherwise, they're just idiots. So they cling to this illusion that alcohol is a benefit and it makes life better doesn't. Alcohol is a very devious and insidious drug. I mean, it, the way it works is horrendous. And just because it's licensed by and sanctioned by the government doesn't mean it's safe. I don't know how the political system works where you are, but the politicians where I come from, I wouldn't trust them to find their asshole with two hands. They're idiots. They're useless. So just because it has a license from the government doesn't make it safe. Alcohol is insidious. Alcohol creates pain and misery for one reason only. 
so that when you drink, it can take away the pain and misery that it placed there in the first place. This is how it gets you to drink. It makes you miserable. So you drink and then it rewards you by taking the misery away. And you think, ah, oh, I feel better. Oh, this is great stuff. I love this. If you didn't drink this in the first place, that uncomfortable sensation, that anxiety, that stress wouldn't be there at all. And the final thing I just want to talk about is the, the final statement I mentioned there that my pharmacist friend made, that uh, drinkers live a shorter life, but a better life. And it's the same sort of argument that went with the, you know, the, the previous statement that I drink because life's too short. So I'm, I'm not going to expand on any, any more than that. I just want to talk about the man who, who first said that statement to me. I mean, this is a very intelligent man. You know, this is a, he owns a chain of pharmacists. And not only is he academically intelligent, but he is the wisest, most astute, most present man I've ever met in my life. I mean, you spend 10 minutes with this guy and you'll learn something. And that doesn't stop him though. You know, all this intelligence and smarts doesn't stop him opening half a bottle of whiskey every other night. And he lives here in Cyprus with me. And um, one, one night I questioned him about his drinking and he shrugged in that very cool kind of Greek way. He went, eh. And he lit a cigarette and he picked up his whiskey and he went, so, you know, we, we maybe we live a shorter life, but we live a better life. Huh? And it's hard not to be kind of taken up in the, you know, the, the drama of it, because you, you hear him talk like that and you think, yeah, I, yeah, I get it. But it's bullshit because, you see, I, I think I know where he's coming from on this. And it's coming from the statistic that heavy drinkers live on average 10 years less than a non-drinker or a moderate drinker. So it's kind of a, a leap to assume that if you drink heavily, you're going to live an amazing life. And then one night in your sleep, you're just going to die 10 years early. And when you put it like that, it sounds kind of romantic. What do you want? A long, boring life or a short, dramatic, amazing life that just ends a little bit sooner than you would want? But it's not like that. You know, alcohol is a carcinogenic. We are no longer in the realms of alcohol might cause cancer. In the 1990s, it was proved once and for all, alcohol gives you cancer. If you're a woman and you drink, you have a 50% increased chance of breast cancer. 50%. The numbers are similar for men with prostate cancer, throat cancer. Every, every type of cancer is increased if you drink alcohol. If you smoke as well, you're basically saying, give me cancer. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. So the chances are that you won't just fall asleep one night and die peacefully. The chances are you will get cancer and you'll have painful chemotherapy and that you'll waste away to nothing and die in agony. Or you'll get cirrhosis and you'll spend six months getting weaker and weaker, going yellow, bright yellow eyeballs in absolute agony as your body fills with poison because your liver can't filter out the poison in your blood and your urine anymore. And you will die because there are not enough donors. Look, I know this, is, this sounds doom and gloom and you may be tempted just to turn the video off and, and go and have a beer, <laughs> as most people do. But look, Sometimes I just have to be a little bit badass about this. Wake up, grow up. Alcohol is not safe just because it's advertised everywhere and the government says you're allowed to drink it. Alcohol doesn't make life better. It makes it worse and shorter. And it's not just you it affects. It's gonna hurt everyone you care about in the most painful way you could ever imagine. Thank you for watching. Sorry to uh, <laughs> get a bit uh, crazy on this one. Um, if you have any suggestions about what you want me to talk about in these videos, please post a comment below. Remember to subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel, spread the word, let's get this message out there. And if you want to contact me directly, you can do via the website www.stopdrinkingexpert.com. My name is Craig Beck. Thank you for watching.